Thanks, Vicki. 744 now. And while many kids are lucky enough to become the best of friends with their siblings, it is very common for brothers and sisters to fight. Sibling rivalry can start at a very early age. So how can we as parents help our kids get along? Parenting expert Jackie Insinger from Insinger Insights is here with some advice this morning. Thank you, Jackie, for being here. My pleasure. So we're not talking about serious bullying here. We're just talking about the normal stuff that families go through, right? The stuff we all deal with in our homes. Okay, so why do the kids fight? Well, sibling rivalry is a topic that is extremely relevant to all of us who have more than one child. And we all probably think we know a little bit too much about it from our own homes. But on the flip side of conflict, it's amazing to realize that this is our only true lifelong relationship we're given. Our spouses come in later and our parents leave a little too early. So we as parents now have the opportunity to really establish a foundation for our kids for how to be in relationships. from you know, from social skills to conflict resolution, and studies have shown that these skills for, that we learn at home actually do translate into the classroom and into our relationships later in life. So I have some great strategies on how to really, really emphasize the good in these relationships to help set your child up for success. Okay, so let's start with those. What should parents be doing? Okay, well, first of all, what I tell all the parents I work with, it's really imperative to really focus on the why underlying the behavior. It's so natural to try to stop the negative behavior but really focus on what's causing it, the root cause, and really try to work on that so that the behavior naturally stops. So if the younger sibling is just pestering the older one because he wants to be with him or spend time with him, address that. Exactly. Okay, exactly. what else? What else? Another thing is, again, tuning into the individuality of each child. Emphasize and really figure out what each child's strengths are, particularly relational strengths, and also what each child's triggers are, which is what pushes you into the stressed out or negative behavior. And empower your children to use their strengths to help avoid each other's triggers. That's a skill and a tool they can use for the rest of their life. And do you see some common triggers? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet. My toy, time on the phone, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yes. Interruptions. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What else should parents be focused on? Another thing is let them try to figure it out on their own. Of course, if there is something extreme like you were mentioning, like the bullying or extremely aggressive verbal or physical behavior, then of course it's our job as parents to step in. But if it's the regular conflict, then, then let them try to figure it out. Not only will that help them build confidence and their problem solving skills, but it'll free up our time as parents a little bit too. Um, and I know that sharing, it's a difficult thing. So just quickly, quickly there are some sharing. things that we shouldn't be yes. focused on sharing? Absolutely. One of the biggest causes of issues is they don't feel control over things in a sibling relationship. Sharing is super important in any relationship, but allowing your child to have something that is just their own, whether it's a play date, a toy, or their own space that they can mm -hmm. feel in control of is a really good balance for them. Well, these are all such good tips because as parents, we deal with this a lot. Yes. Thank you, Jackie, for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you it. for having me. And for more information, you can check out our website, kwgn.com. There is still much more ahead on Daybreak this